tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Oh, it is a long journey because I started very early. But um, my parents knew that I could sing. And then when I was nine years old, um, our church, who I, I went to Ellenwood Malati Church. And yeah. our church is very... Um, classical music inclined and a lot of classical performers attended church there. Rhoda Pipito, my first voice teacher, what happened was um, she wasn't my teacher yet, but she wanted to mount an opera called Amal and the Night Visitors. And then so um, she was looking for a boy soprano who would play the lead. And then so my mom asked me if I wanted to audition. No idea what an opera is. No, I says okay. I want. I love performing. I was quite such a, you know, I'm. I was a, a ham even when I was a, a child. I told my mom I want to audition, and so I auditioned. I got the part. She became my teacher. That was my first opera. As a young artist, I think what's important is that you build your confidence and that you don't get discouraged. So I kept on joining competitions within USD. I went to audition for the CCP Young Artist Funds, and then I got a full scholarship, and then. Things went really fast. I placed in the Kundiman Fiesta, sponsored by Hotel Nico. I don't know if you remember that in 1992. Yes, it, of course, it, it really helped the industry also getting promoted and then linking us all together. People who have not seen an opera before would uh, watch it on YouTube, on Facebook. And the people who have knowledge on it, speak about it. And so we're building a global community through social yeah. media and the art. So that is a great blessing that we have gotten from the digital space. So yeah. I, yeah. I've been teaching voice for, you know, many, many years, even when I was a younger artist, um, teaching children to sing. And then um, I, I love singing. I love teaching. It's one of the things that I, I love doing and I enjoy doing it. And so... Uh, it's one thing I cannot do now because we cannot be in person with someone. And so, and a lot of the people out there still want to learn how to sing. And I think um, once we have wrapped our brains around what's going on in the world, we can now start to think how can we sort of get it into a new normal thing. Yes. And so because of the power and should I say the mercy of the internet, <laughs> yes. we can do, for example, you and I talking right now, I am in Pasig City and you are in the I'm south in Paranaque. Of Paranaque, <laughs> and we're talking, having so much fun here. And then we can also do that while learning something. A lot of the theater Absolutely. companies are giving um, acting workshops online. And I would like to promote my studio online, the Andrew Fernando Online Distant Voice lessons this is a time it's a po you know singing is a positive thing right Absolutely. so a lot of people are beating themselves hard like i, I need to sing i need to <laughs> sing and they they sometimes they miss out on having fun when they sing and all the young artists go through that i remember Absolutely. i was very very hard on myself when i was younger and i <laughs> i wanted to please my teacher until I studied with my teacher in New York, Mark Oswald, I love him, and Mark Goodrich also in California. They say, I'm not here to be impressed. I'm here to help you. I'm here to wow. help you get wherever you want to get in your career. Classical right? singers are different from theater actors. Mm. Um, like with classical, with theater actors, pag may auditions, go lang ng go yan. Makuha mm. o hindi. Mm. Here, um, with with the classical singers, medyo takot pa mag-audition. Mm. It's a, it's mm. a new ano for them eh. It's a new design. Yes. Mm. And that's yes. why yes. I, I, I've been encouraging um the young singers, the young singers that just you don't just audition. It doesn't mean na hindi kayo natanggap, hindi kayo magaling. It's just Correct. yun lang hinahanap na director. Mm. Yeah. Na, you just oh, have to, first of all, since we're talking about mentoring, you have to listen to your mentors also. You know, you need to give them an opportunity because us who, are, who mentor, we we have their best interests at heart, right? First and foremost, we don't compete with our students, you know, we are there for them, right? And so this is their time to shine. And so sometimes yung mga bata, they think that they're being criticized <laughs> rather than they're being encouraged. So yeah, they don't really, you have to just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marami rin kasing ano, may mga, may mga tinuruan pa nga ako na, 
Eh kasi nar- narinig, may narinig ako recording, ganito yung ginawa niya. <laughs> so siya yun. Siya yun. Hayaan mo na siya. <laughs> Sila nung teacher niya yung nag-uusap. Eh tayo yung dalawa nag-uusap dito eh, right? So, uh, but, yeah. but at the end, everyone loves the art. So it's just, iba-iba lang tayo ng personality talaga. Well, actually, my, I always say this to the young artists na um, just go and... and, and Go out and uh, if you have a dream, if you want to be a classical singer, as in pursue it. Whatever. Dapat kasi kung ano yung love mo talaga, yun dapat ang sundin mo. Kasi no, no matter what career, babalik at babalikan mo din yan eh. So um, it's just a matter of having that discipline, perseverance, and uh, the passion. Passion is very important. If you don't have that burning inside you, <laughs> Wow. Well, uh, no, I love, love the way you're burning. <laughs> no, yeah. and I always say that um, monetary is secondary. Sa simula, mm. it's like in La Bohème, they're, they're all Bohemians. They're there because of the art, art. Mm. But yes. um, that's why maganda yung ginagawa mo because it's all the passion, the love. It's all there. Yes. But once that bilang ka na ng pera, you become a businessman, and more than the quality it's you're now basing it on quantity yes. so if you're good money will follow so yes. it's okay to sing na especially for the young ones as in wag ka muna mag ano na magkano bang babayarin hindi as in go just, just go sing for free when you're young and have that experience kasi the more experience you have mas doon ka ma train Kasi ngayon mga bata pa lang, wala pa ano, ah, magkano po yan? I just wanted to say that thank you Gracie and Carla for for tonight. It it was really fun and to be able to talk our about our careers, about our industry and our craft to a greater audience globally. It's such a a blessing. And I wanted to say I want I would like to take take this opportunity to thank everyone who has supported the arts before the pandemic who are continuing supporting Who's in supporting us right now and who plan to support us after this. Um, yes, our job is to entertain, but we're also in service to all of you. We are not here just because we have to gratify our our egos or to just to showcase what we have, but we're here really for you. Our love to perform is because we know that you love seeing us perform. And so thank you so much for your support. I pray that um, whatever we may be able to come up with during this pandemic in, in ways of performances, that you'll be there to support us uh, in any way. And um, we don't know how this is going to work business-wise for us. For a lot of artists are we're worried about their finances. I don't know. But right now, our love for doing what we do. It doesn't die. It will never die. And the fire is going to keep on burning. And so keep us in your prayers. And we are just so blessed to be able to express something the Lord gave us. Yeah, the yes. Music is a universal uh, language. It is. Absolutely. It's a beautiful language. Very Absolutely. Therapy. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.